Why are you feeling? Yeah. Hmm? Rough day. Rough day? What are you, what are you feeling? Yeah. Like, what do you feel? Pain. Yeah. It's stress. Vomiting. Anger. Anxiety. I can't sleep. For days. And what about, like, all your CBD and stuff? That shit doesn't help? It does, Chris, but... I am just fighting for my life here. Yeah. What's up, CB3 gang? And welcome back to another video. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this video might get a little emotional because it is a very serious topic and it's something that has affected my life for a really long time. And it's really not something I talk about very often. And uh, there's a reason for that. You know, I'm not one to really talk about you know personal things you know what i'm saying but today i think it's very necessary because i'm gonna be honest with you guys my mom has not been doing very well at all and uh, she's very sick for those of you guys out there who don't know you know my mom is uh has cancer she's been battling it for a long time now and i've been blessed to even have her in my life for this long and um you know this is something that i've had to deal with for over like five six years now and i'm blessed i've had her this long because the doctors told her that she wouldn't even make it past my high school graduation so the fact that i'm six years later and she's still here and around and in my life is you know i'm very grateful and i'm blessed for that but like i said guys she she has not been doing very well at all and i don't want to wait till it's too late because one thing i noticed from a lot of people is that they wait till it's too late or they wait till someone passes away to speak up or say something. I, I don't think that's the right way to do things. Like, why not tell someone how you feel while they're still here? I don't think it's good to give somebody their flowers when they're not here to enjoy it. So the fact that my mom is still here and she could see this video and uh, hear what people have to say, uh, I want to go ahead and do that right now. You know, guys, my mom has been a huge inspiration in my life. She is the strongest woman I have ever seen, ever met, ever witnessed. And, um, you know, she's my inspiration. She has been for a long time now. The stuff that my mom has done, the stuff that my mom has overcome these last six years, is, is just incredible and I know it's not just her I want to thank God you know for giving my mom the strength to continue to keep fighting and I believe in you mom you know if you're watching this right now which I know you are <laughs> I want you to know that you have been a huge inspiration in my life you are the strongest woman I have ever met in my entire life and I know you're gonna keep fighting and I want you to know mom that I am the person I am today because of you the way you are on camera the way that you like to stand out from the crowd, you like to be different than everybody else, you like to be unique. All, all of those characteristics, all those attributes, mom, you know, I've taken those from you. You have allowed me to become the man I am today and I will continue to grow. I want you to know that you are the best mom that anyone could ever ask for. And I know we might not see eye to eye sometimes. And uh, I know sometimes we look at things a little differently. But you know that comes with the territory but one thing i want you to know is that you know you are the best mom that anyone could have ever asked for i love you with all my entire heart and i i know you're gonna keep fighting i know i know whatever the future holds i know you ain't gonna go down without a fight and um i don't want you to think that you know this doesn't affect me that your sickness doesn't affect me because it does i've just never been one to really talk about it you know this the camera this is the best way i could express myself so i want you to know mom that i care for you very deeply and um so it sucks that I literally can't do anything because I'm not a doctor. I'm not, you know, I'm not, I can't help you in the way that I want to. I do it in the best way that I can. And uh, I want to be able to help you in, you know, bigger ways. And I want you to understand that this, you know, getting my career together, you know, football, YouTube, podcast, everything. This is my way of being able to put you, you know, my family in a better position. And 
I know we don't see eye to eye again on, on certain things and you know sometimes you might feel like I don't care or I'm not there or I'm just you know focused on myself but I want I need you to understand mom that there, there's not a day that goes by where I don't think about you there's not a day that goes by where I'm not concerned about how you're doing you know you're constantly on my mind and everything that I do is for you and for Danny and dad and the last thing that I, I want you to think is that I don't care or that this whole situation that we've been going through for a long time now does not affect me because it does I just handle it in different ways I'm different you know what I'm saying Mama? I am very different and that's one thing I don't expect you or others to understand because I do operate differently and I do it because I'm gonna be able to one day make sure that our family name lives on for forever. I'm gonna leave our legacy. I look at you and uh, I just hope one day I could be half the person that you have become. You inspire so many people, mom. You literally give strength to so many people and I wanna be able to impact people the way you do. I want you to know that you're my hero, mom. You really are. And I've never told you this. I've never talked to you and really told you how I feel. And I don't want to wait till it's too late for me to tell you the stuff that, you know, I want to say. So the fact that you're still here with us right now, I want you to be able to enjoy this and see this and see how many people you truly do impact. And I want you to see how many people are behind you. I want you to see how many people you inspire. I want you to know that you're not in this fight alone. And I want you to see how many people are truly in this fight with you. And rather than me just telling you, mom, I think it's best that they tell you themselves. So with that being said, sit back, relax, and take a look at how many people you truly have inspired. Hey, Jessica. On behalf of Jaime, myself, and the boys, we just wanted to wish you a happy new year. We are praying for you, and we love you. You stay strong. Hey, Jess. Just here from El Paso to tell you that we love you and we're always thinking of you, sending you prayers. Hope you're doing well out there. Hope to see you soon. We love you. Hey, Jessica. Hey, Jessica. We love you so much. We miss you. We know you're far away, but we're always here. We're always by your side and we're battling right there with you, girl. Hey, Jessica. Just wanting to let you know that I'm thinking about you. I've been keeping you constantly in my prayers. Hoping for another miracle, but may God wrap his arms around you and help ease your pain. I'd like to thank you for just being very inspirational and motivational. But most of all, you have taught us faith about God, about forgiveness, how to be healthy, how to be better to one another. And because of you, it has helped restore my faith again when I was lacking it. Hey, gorgeous lady, just wanted to tell you we love you. Stay strong like you always do. Keep on being a good example. you always been for all of us. God bless you, Mama. Dear Jessica, this is your friend Mona in El Paso, Texas. My friend, if I could give you one thing, I would give you the ability to see yourself as others see you. Then you would realize what a truly special person you are. Hey, Jessica. I wanted to tell you that your positivity is so infectious and you should be proud of yourself. I really admire you and I really thank God for bringing you into my life and I have always admired your strength from the time I have known you. Let me tell you, I have been watching some of your videos and your smile makes me smile. At times, I just want to have strength like you have. Hey Jessica, just want to let you know that I admire you. You are a true soldier and I'm sending healing prayers your way. Hey Jessica, this is Javier. We've always been very grateful for the two times you appeared in uh, our podcast, Problems and Opportunities. Uh, both have still, are still the most viewed videos that we have. Uh, you brought a lot of energy, you brought a lot of positivity, a lot of hope to people and we're always going to be grateful. Hey mom, I just wanted to let you know that we got your back and that you're not alone. I understand that sometimes it may feel that way and it's hard for you to express yourself when you're the only one going through this, but we all love you and we'll do anything for you. You're my inspiration and you are to many others, I believe. You're going to beat this and I know God has your back. We're fighters and 
we don't give up and you gave me that mentality. I am the way I am because of you. Your strength keeps us all together. Since we were kids, it's all it's always been about our triangle, me, you, and Chris. Um, it's unbreakable, just like you, Mom. I love you, and we're here for you. As you can see, Mom, that is just a fraction of the amount of people that you have inspired, the amount of people whose lives you have had an impact on. And I just wanted you to see that, that everybody's behind you, and we're all watching, and we're looking at your story. And you have already created an amazing story, Mom. And I know that no matter what happens, I know you're gonna keep fighting. And uh, all we can do is pray. You know, I'm gonna keep praying. And uh, I hope all of you guys out there will continue to pray with me and pray for my mom. And just keep being an inspiration, mom, as you have been to me and to many other people around the world. Thank you, I love you, and keep kicking cancer's ass.